Hi guys, how are you? Um, hi, my name is Lina and I would like to speak today about panning and the amount of makeup we accumulate. So, long story short, I went a little bit cray-cray with, uh, within the last couple of years with COVID and everything. So I did accumulate a pretty significant amount of makeup, which might be a bit too much for a let's say regular user who is just using, I don't know, single eyeshadow palette, um, you know, within a year, basically going to work and back, I definitely got more. But the amount is not as big as most of the amounts, let's say, people on YouTube accumulate. So I'm definitely on the low scale here. And I think I woke up early enough to realize that it's not ideal to keep items to accumulate items and do not use it also probably the financial situation that you, you when you kind of calculate and you see how much money everything costs there, there is a learning curve for sure so i decided to use more of the makeup i have uh, and i did decide to participate in couple well couple actually three panning projects I have been doing a little bit of that before on my own by myself and I just you know usually I'm taking the items which I have the items that are in my possession the longest and I'm using them I uh, do not like to waste the product I do like to use the things I've got so this is pretty much you know an idea in terms of the amount of the makeup if you can calculate how much makeup we use over the year, it's not that much actually. Depends on the, obviously it depends on each individual person. I am pretty good with my makeup. I mean, I'm very light-handed. Handed, it means that I do not use a lot. Actually, my makeup is usually very clean. I don't have a lot of fallout. I'm very, very, very light-handed with my makeup. But I am trying to use what I have and I do go over makeup pretty regularly. I clean it multiple times a year yes it is a bit of the OCD but at the same time it helps you kind of like helps you to keep you helps you in keeping it real and in realizing how much things you've got actually and do you really need another palette or do you really need I don't know another lipstick or another another bronzer or highlighter usually no specifically powder products they do last quite a lot uh, quite a long time and they do tend to they don't really go bad I mean yeah it might with the years the intensity not gonna be there but it's my makeup I'm only using it on myself so it doesn't really matter um, am I risking if, if I'm risking anyone's health I'm risking my own so it's on me uh, and uh, liquid products they usually tend to go out quite like quite fast comparing to the powder products mm, that's why I'm trying to keep them at the minimum I'm very proud that I do not have for example a lot of foundations uh, I don't have a lot of cream products I do have some lipsticks but it's not you know as crazy as it could be and I pretty much stopped buying new makeup unless there is something that really really interested me but that's you know a lot, a lot. I think all of us are pretty much in the same situation right now taking into consideration that I do like makeup and I do like to play with makeup so uh, in order to make it fun I decided to participate in three painting projects this year they're gonna be the pen those eyeshadows because eyeshadows is my biggest um, item I have the biggest probe product group I've got a uh, whole collection panning and uh, deck uh, deck of panning so all of the projects were created by different YouTube um, bloggers YouTube hosts uh, you, different youtubers so I'm not really that familiar with a lot of them I just know few uh, anyways it, this I am planning to make a, an, an intro for all three of them and show you an update throughout the year because it also will it will also keep me in line with what I'm doing. So the project I'd like to start today is actually a whole collection and I would like to choose 10 random products 
within my collection. I did make an inventory. It was very time consuming. And yes, I'm crazy. I'm in inventorizing my, uh, my makeup, not skincare, makeup. Uh, so I will be choosing, using a random number generate, generate. I've got it uploaded on my phone and uh, it's going to be about 10 products. Um, then I will find the products. I will show it to you. I will show and I will kind of share my opinions on the goals. So the goals are also more or less set so far. Um, I will include the picture of my project table. You can see it on the screen. And as you can see, there is also the little graph, the column with their intended um, uses. Uh, rules are, if any product is doubled, for example, I've got more than two, I can have only two of each type of product. If it's eyeshadow palette, I can use only, I can have only two eyeshadow palettes. If it is a liner, it can be only two liners, for example, I mean, lip liner or eye liner, they, they, they are different. Two nail polishes, whatever it is. Because overall, I'm gonna, I'm, I do have a lot of eyeshadows and I am having another uh, project, which is spend those eyeshadows, which is, ex which is uh, eyeshadow dedicated. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, use my phone with the randomizer for 10 times and then check the numbers, check what we've got here. Afterwards, I'm going to show you the products. Uh, if there are any kind of repeats, again, if there is more than one, uh, more than two products within a, cat a category, I will actually re-randomize it again. I will actually generate a new number. Okay, so I have my phone ready. Let's do it. Okay, product number one. Okay, it's 234. Probably I don't need to show it. It's showing the mirror reflection. Uh, by the way, just to let you know, overall, now I have 1,177 different products. Now, the number is not that crazy because actually I did include every single individual shade within the eyeshadow palette or any, uh, any other kind of palettes. Again, this is just easier for me to keep the uh, list like that. In this case, I have a better understanding of everything I've got. So anyway, number one, 234. Number two, 475, 3732. I would show you the screen, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense. As you see, the uh, it's actually mirrored. I guess I will have to work with the settings. Anyways, the next one is 800, um, 159. We have another five. 396, 1034. Okay, I am at seven, so three more. Mm. 1043, promise it was totally random. Uh, 235. 759. Uh, I think I'm at 10. Yeah, I will also run, let's say, two additional numbers just in just in case that, you know, I've already have this product. 123 and 1081. Okay, let me uh, go and bring the products. Okay, hi guys, I'm back with my products. So uh, one, thi thing th one thing that I have already learned is that I will have to, I guess, to work a little bit on my inventory and separate my eyeshadows from everything else. Because my eyeshadows take the most amount of space on my inventory. And so anything you run pretty much ends up with, the, with an eyeshadow. And there is an issue again, because as I told you, every single eyeshadow has a, um, has a number. I, I guess I'm going to have to change 
you know, the way I'm looking at certain things. So I'm going to have to change the numbering. But anyways, uh, here are my products that I got. I'm not going to be, so I'm just going to be, I'm, I'm going to be telling you by the categories. I guess that's simpler to understand. And I will also tell you to tell you what are the goals. So number one was one of my, my first colorful eyeshadow palette, Sephora Pro. Uh, it is an editorial palette. Okay, uh, let me show it to you. That was my first colorful palette and it's huge. You see how big it is? Like comparing to my face, it is the size of my face, bigger. Make sure you put it next to me, sorry. Yeah, it is the size of my face, even bigger. It has an amazing mirror. So the inside of this palette here, right? I don't want to blind you. It's a really nice mirror. It's clear. It's amazing. It's great. So um, I was recommended this palette when I was shopping at Sephora. I was looking for something colorful and that was my first kind of like adventure into the colorful world. And uh, the girl who was working at the counter, she was raving about that. She was telling that that's kind of like an amazing palette by Sephora. And that it's made on this at the same factory as like some one some other like one main brand they also which they also have in sephora i don't remember apparently sephora owns a lot of makeup brands the ones we think about the ones uh like especially you know the, the mainstream ones and uh these eyeshadows are pretty much of the same quality as this other brand because they're they are made at the same place Overall, if you're going to think about the, the cost of production for makeup and how much we are paying for it, and do we need it, really? Okay, anyways, the color is Ice, which is this kind of color right here. It's white, silverish color. Uh, somehow it has a little bit purple in my option but it might be because next to it there is a purple shadow right at the bottom and i guess i was and one thing about these shadows they do have a lot of fallout so they are powdery so i guess this purple end from the kind of got from the pan below so that's a color it's kind of like this very white bright silver it has pretty big particles in it so inner corner yes uh under eyebrow, I'm not sure. This might be too blinding, but why not? We can see. So, anyways, uh, this is a bigger palette. So my goals will be for the palettes I haven't played enough. I'm gonna put the goal of ten times using the whole palette, kind of with an or like with a uh, accent on the shadow, which I mm, pulled. For the pal for the palettes I know and I played enough with them, uh, twenty uses per shadow so this shadow will be will be 20 uses again so the pillow the shadow is right here i love this palette and the, and the mirror i was using it as a mirror i love it i'm using palettes as a mirror so often they just come more comfortable and i also have a trick uh, one of the palettes i'm actually using also as a magnetic uh, as a magnetized palette so i'm kind of sticking the individual shadows there okay second palette will be this is the indie brand Midas, uh, and this is their collaboration with uh, Hana Smoky Glow. So the name of the glow, the name of the palette is Smoky Glow uh, by Midas. Uh, I think it is a black-owned uh, company, as far as I remember. So they came up with this collaboration a couple of years ago. So that's the uh, shed. Uh, that's a palette, and I ran this shadow right here. This is the shadow Lino. I maybe played with this palette, I don't know, a couple times. So I'm not really that familiar with this. So I would actually put the goal of 10 uh, uses for, you, for it. Concentration again is on Lino. And this is the color of the Lino. So this is the mixture of this pinkish lavender color. It feels drier based on the payoff i think i will definitely need, i will definitely need a glitter glue of some sort or an adhesive but this is it's it's also pretty 
it's pretty sheer so i'm not sure if i can build it up or but i'll, I'll play around with this so again for this palette for this shadow for this draw i'm actually gonna put the uh yeah i think it's buildable so i'm putting i, I just put the second layer and that's what we've got so uh, i'm gonna put 10 uses for the pal for the palette as a whole for this one then uh, speaking more then i draw two individual eyeshadows don't be surprised you're gonna see a lot of them i have a lot i have a lot that i haven't even tried yet and i haven't even unpacked yet haven't even unpacked yet these are the shadows by sydney grace sydney grace is my favorite eyeshadow brand i believe to the day this is the one which i use pretty much in my everyday uh, makeup this is the one i recommend to my friends but this is kind of like the situation sydney grace is a kind of this polite proper elegant you know sister maybe like elder sister of yours very proper very polite totally answers all the expectations of the parents um, while let's say you also have some other sisters like divina and divina will be <laughs> you know the crazy wild a little bit spooky sister uh, middle sister you've got so when my friends are asking for for the eyeshadow recommendation this is the one i usually recommend because my friends are not that much into makeup and divina is divina can be a little bit too intimidating for them so you really need to have the fun the fun with makeup in order to kind of like fully feel divina but anyways two shadows mattes and uh, shimmer one matte one, sh one shimmer one matte is this electric lime this is this granny apple granny apple green i'm gonna give you a swatch there uh, mattes are super soft super velvety very buildable they do not turn into the green brown gray dirty mess you know the same so they do stay truth to their color true to their color on your on your eyes so they actually this is the truthful color that's exactly what you're going to see on your eyes blend amazingly no patchiness do not need anything specific don't need any kind of special treatment i still recommend to use a certain primer but i think i just like to use primers in order to avoid i don't know sometimes some shadows can actually stain your stain your skin so i'm just trying to avoid it okay and the second color is uh, light my world and this is this kind of like darker greenish greenish gold so you can see it on my hand let me put it on top if you haven't tried anything from Sydney Grace, try shimmers. They're actually known for their shimmers. Personally, I like both. I like shimmers. I like um, mattes. I like everything else they do. I might have, uh, well, I wouldn't really recommend the duochromes because duochromes, I mean, they're better ones. They're good. And I think they were the one, they, their duochromes was my introduction to duochromes three years ago. Uh, so three years ago but there are better duochromes on the market i think their strong side is pretty much mattes and shimmer something which is kind of like one color but it's a strong color anyways light my vault this is a very top and as, as you can see this is this greenish gold color right just one swipe you see the intensity obviously i'm, I'm not gonna finish <laughs> any of those i will put uh, 20 times usage goal for both of them because it's not a palette it's an individual shadow and i will try to use the products now next item is duraline by inglo and some of you can say that this is not a makeup per se but it is a makeup related product this is a mixing medium uh clear clear medium called duraline by inglo uh, this is the medium they use uh, well they use it to apply makeup they also use to make 
cream products out of the dry products like powders whatever what i got it for and what most people got it for is to save your drying makeup anything mascaras liners foundations lipsticks anything that is drying you just add a couple drops of duraline it has a little dropper here you don't need a lot you need literally two three drops and uh it does turn whatever makeup you're using into like it revives it resurrection full resurrection i don't think um it's going to be the problem to use this product i'm putting a 10 goal use uh, on it shouldn't be an issue mm. well maybe right now i'm gonna run around trying to see what do, what do i have to mix and and revive but no with my projects i will try to stay truth full to myself and to use it the normal way i will use it just maybe what i'm trying to do here is just like to put my own focus on the things so i do not forget things they do not get old because you know often when you go through the collection you're like oh i've got this and this where was it i don't know okay next i'm gonna show you two lipsticks i i, I actually got i drew one is uh, by two faced it's two faced lipstick and the name is drunk dial here we go the color is very intimidating it's in the tube it looks very purpley purpley it's purple it's purple lavender so it is intimidating smells great <laughs> but it's definitely a are you kidding me project uh, product pro project product mm. i'm not sure how i will be using it I don't wear colors like this on the daily basis but i guess i will have to or i will 10 times okay let me show you a swatch that is a swatch but as you see on the hand it's it looks a bit less intimidating it looks less purple see it actually has more red to it maybe because it's mixed uh with the color of the skin it actually runs warmer on your skin than it is in the bullet okay and the second lipstick is it was a gift to me uh it's a gucci lipstick very fancy gucci lipstick it's actually a matte gucci lipstick you kind of have to open it it's, it has a nice heavy bullet it's the one you kind of carry with you in a purse let everyone see it and then return back to your poverty the poverty which is caused by the amount of makeup all the money in makeup and that's the color this is the matte red color it smells great but this is a new actually mm. so it has some blue it's a red color but it has some blue in it so it still can be beneficial for your teeth you can still i mean it can still probably make your teeth look uh, look actually a little bit whiter yeah it has some blue in it so and the name of the shadow of the shade is actually eat scarlet eat scarlet so these are two lipsticks i've got so yeah i would be it will be too it would be exciting to try both lipsticks during the winter months why not we'll see i will look like a clown i'm fine with this i will be an attractive clown with beautiful red lips in my case probably with with beautiful red teeth because the problem with the makeup of, with the lipstick and that's my problem it, it it is always on my lips i don't know what exactly i'm doing wrong i was trying to check what's my problem but apparently i don't know i eat it it's every time i'm having anything you know strong it's on my lips i'm pretty sure it's on my lips when it's not anything strong but at least when it's not like let's say it's such an intense color like this or this you don't see it i eat lipsticks welcome okay and uh two last products would be two nail polishes these are old guys these are very old 
it can show you how cheap I am. <laughs> Why am I trying to use the products instead of throwing them away? Uh, but to be fair, if it's too old and if it's going to be striky and weird, then I will just declutter it because, you know, I don't... Um, I'll, I'll do my best to use it. If it's bad, I'm just going to throw it away. So this one is by the brand Lycra and this is a French manicure. Actually, I'm sorry, this is by Rimmel, right? It was one of the lines I've got Lycra. I'm not sure if they have it right now. Uh, it's a very old, old nail polish, but it's pretty simple. You see, it's kind of like regular, this nude light color. It's easy to use this one if it still works. So this is one color and another one is by Wet n Wild and the color is Blazed. So that's the color. I'm sure I can do something with this. I'm sure I will be able to come up with something with this. It's a bit more like, for me, it's more summery. Almost like, kind of like this very light pastel color or like neon. It's neonish. But I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I can do something with this. As you can see, I have no nail polish on my nails. I think I was preparing to really tackle this project. So I guess these are, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, or is there was one more? Oh, and one more product. Also the lip liner. Uh, this is the lip liner uh, in pink. The color is literally pink. And this is the lip liner by uh, a Chinese brand, the Kissist liner. It's kind of like, let me show, draw it. It's pink. It's Barbie pink. So I'll put it right here. It's a very Barbie pink color. Yeah, so that's a little bit Barbie pink color. So yeah, that's the lip liner and I'm putting the goal of using it for 10 times. So overall, yeah, that's, that's my intro into project whole collection. One more thing, I'm not going to include any skincare in my uh, whole collection because with the skincare, I'm actually very good. I do use it regularly and I don't let it go bad, I think. I don't know. Based on two zits on my face, maybe I do. But ultimately, with the skincare, I'm actually trying to get, like, to use the products that I bought the earliest like the old before, long time ago, and then kind of slowly go into the current numbers. Uh, so I'm actually very good with this and I don't see the point of having any kind of project because still I will be using the things that I bought before. So I kind of, I'm fully aware of what's going on over there. It's the makeup that do need, um, that needs more structure for sure. Well, thank you. I hope that this video is going to keep me in line and I, can go with this through the year with actually giving updates and um, actually being productive about that. It is a rolling project, so whenever I'm going to reach the goal, that's when I will actually um, uh, move to the next product. With the lipsticks, I will probably measure them. I will pro uh, measure the amount. I don't see the point of doing it with Duraline because 10 times with the mixing media, you're not really going to see a lot of difference in, uh, in size and I don't see it's necessary. So probably the lipstick are the only ones which I actually will measure. Not sure about shadows. I might weigh them, but that is going to be more for the experiment. Well, thank you for being here and doing it with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.